future. Amen. The Lord woke me up early one morning about five years ago. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was out there. Amen. Praise God on Cedar Street. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Couldn't find no men. Glory to God to come and assist me. And help me out after my husband passed away. Fourteen years ago. You must die holding this church. 7142 Cedar Street. Amen. Praise God. But let me tell you what that you went up on the Lord. All right. God will renew your strength. And I know them ever since then. Amen. I know them to be pure and real people of God. Amen. She's my mother in the Lord. Amen. I might be a little older than her, praise God. Amen. He's my father in the Lord. How many know? Amen. That God will send help. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So he told us, amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. He's the many affliction of the righteous. Amen. But God shall deliver them all. Amen. I feel like trucking on.
Yes, yes. And we thank God, amen. For Dr. Simpson, let's give a little good clap praise for her. Amen. amen. The woman that the fruit prophet has walked have received us in this city to allow us to put this tent to be able to, to preach this gospel. We thank you for every one of you that's here tonight. Thank God for Apostle Johnson all the way from the Bahamas. Let's praise amen. God for him. Amen. We met him when he ministered. Uh, thank you, Jesus, in the national ministries. And we told him about this tent revival. And praise God. He came out tonight to fellowship with us and to introduce himself to one of the ministers down ahead and to find out how he could be a blessing, how he could be a help to your church, your ministry. Yes. Amen. So make sure you get to know this man of God. If you're a minister with this tent before you know you leave tonight, he's got a great ministry, great anointing of the revelation of Jesus Christ and of the prophet of the anointing. Yes, yes. Amen. And he could be a great help to your ministry. I thank God for my wife tonight. Let's give the Lord a good praise. Amen. For my wife, Pastor Amen. We appreciate God for the vision he's given us to come to labor in this city. We don't know how long our time is going to be in Jacksonville, but we want to just obey God for as long as he'd allow us to be in this city. Yes. Amen. We came out of yes. Toronto, Canada, then we came to Detroit. Oh, wow. God told us to sell everything we have when we was in Canada. Oh, we came to Detroit, and after five years, he said to sell everything you have and go to Jacksonville, not knowing anybody in Jacksonville. Oh, my God. And tonight, we're here with a tent, amen, almost full with people that we've never seen some before and some we've met and some of them are good friends all because we obeyed the Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus we want to encourage you amen to obey the Lord whatever God asks you to do it might seem hard it might seem difficult it might seem challenging but we want to encourage you to obey God amen and his vision his dream his his prophecy because he's not going to fail you. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know Jesus never fails? Amen. Hallelujah. We used to sing that song, all may fail, but Jesus, Jesus. never. Glory to his name. Amen. We want to give you an opportunity, amen, to help us to preach the gospel. We want to receive an offering tonight. The Bible said, freely you receive, freely give. Yes. We have nothing to sell. We have nothing to present your bodies, a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, from the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. I want to talk tonight for a few minutes about the same faith as God. The same faith as God. Not the faith of God. Some preachers talk about the faith of God. But I want to talk to you tonight about the same faith as God. See, I didn't write this Bible. And I don't think you wrote it either. <laughs> but the Bible said, well, there is what? One faith. It didn't say there is two faiths or three faiths or four faiths. It said there is one faith. So there's not a faith of God and a faith of man. 